I don't believe in making lists of sexual conquests, except for the time that I made a list of sexual conquests entitled Girls I Made Out With. <laughs> hmm, Girls I Made Out With. That doesn't sound like a list of sexual conquests. And it's definitely a strange list for someone to write who is not a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> I agree with your judgment. I had a saying in the 2000s. Kissing, it's the new sex. Because when you kiss someone, you get all the emotional validation of having had sex with them, but without any of the complicatedness or the messiness of having sex. True. There's hope. I, you know, I always thought the, the kiss, the first kiss is a lot of hope there. Sex is not necessarily hopeful to have sex. It's more of an animal act. I agree. I yeah. agree. I don't think it's a very hopeful thing. Also, it's not hopeful at all. You know... It's depressing. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends that'll say something like, I hit that. No, no, I don't know anyone that says no. that. But, like, people make references to, like, casually sleeping with someone. Mm hmm <laughs> And, like, apparently that happens out in the world. Yeah. But it wasn't my experience. Me neither. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like, people would, like... I'm very, I'm very aware of that. Tell a story about, like, hey, and so, you know, so whatever. So I had sex with this girl. And I'm like, wait, 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 back up, back up. You had sex with someone? So, like, when was the hours and hours of conversation that preceded yeah. it and followed it? When did you become her best friend first? <laughs> you have 23 that you made out with. Yeah. Six of which you Frenched. Move Sweet, Move quickly dude. to Frenching. Yeah, right? Huh? Yeah. Totally hit that. I thought hitting that meant Frenching. That That's point. where I got confused. And then all the times in your life when you said you hit that, it meant, yeah. that, you, it meant that you Frenched? Oh, I totally hit that, dude. <laughs> you did? Totally. For like hours. Oh, that's what it means? <laughs> oh, no, I did not hit no, that no, at no, all. No, 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 no. So sorry. <laughs> Didn't hit it. Did not hit it. Have you ever Frenched, dude? <laughs> no. I bet it's rare that someone has turned to another and says, Have you ever Frenched a dude? It's really homophobic. No, I'm just saying, it's not homophobic. Really? It's not. I'm just saying, it's not a phraseology that you expect. Can we have a check, please? <laughs> I bet you Frenching is not a term that's used in the homosexual. <laughs> in, in the, the homeless community? In the... <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this uh, essay about my grandmother who had hooked up with a lot of guys when my grandfather passed away. And the first time I wrote it, and I was like, oh, I love it, and people really liked it, but then I felt terrible reading it the next 25 times. <laughs> Just because it was, you know... Right. It's disrespectful to your grandmother. Your <laughs> slutty, slutty grandmother. It's a really neat format. Yeah, I like it as someone who loves to perform as well as write. I like it because it obviously incorporates both of those. You get your exact verbiage down right. while being able to perform it wow, to a certain right. extent. I mean, you're not performing it overboard. How often when you have an experience like some crazy experience or some weird experience, are you really experiencing that thing? Because you know you're gonna write about it. I think it's hard to write something good if you set out to write about it. Right. Same with like a documentary. I feel like the best documentaries sort of take a left turn. They like maybe go out to do a documentary about the panda. Right. But then suddenly you're in the middle of a Scrabble festival. <laughs> You know what the I mean? greatest turn. How would that happen? Like, <laughs> well, we were following this panda for like a year. Yeah. And it learned Scrabble. Triple word score. <laughs> oh! That's your terrorizing panda. <laughs> I don't know if they make noises. Or Pandas? Not. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Really? When they're playing Scrabble. You know a lot about me. Do you have any questions for me? When did you start dyeing your hair? Uh, about a year ago. Mm. How come? It was gray. I had some gray on the sides. Yeah. That's not really the type of question I feel like I was totally, referring to. Totally. So sorry. I'm talking about more about like me as a as a humanitarian. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you still shave your back? <laughs> yes, I do. Again, that's not the type of You want a French? Yeah. That's as close as I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> we don't ever touch really. We hug, we, we've started hugging. A lot of guys have been friends for a long time. Have this thing, mm. but we hugged at my wedding and we hugged last night. We hugged at my wedding and we hugged I last blocked, night. I blocked that one out. <laughs> Talking to Mike Blyden. <laughs> On hugging. We'll be right back to hug Star Jones.